Welcome to Peace Vision. We are a portal for positive change. And today I have a very special guest, somebody that I've had the pleasure of working with for about 25 years now, David. This is the one and only genius Dave Beatty, <laughs> part of our Peace Vision team, heads up both Peace Vision original production, also heads up Dreamtime Entertainment. And uh, today we're here to talk about something that David pulled off that's unbelievable. Tell us about this film you just did. Well, yeah, I, I did do a film in the last couple of years, um, kind of on my spare t in my spare time, actually. Uh, I had limited time to actually, you know, apply to this project, which was not sponsored. I had no sponsor. Um, I wasn't being paid to do the film, um, which is called The Nimitz Encounters, by the way. And so I wanted to create something that told the story of this very unusual event that occurred in 2004. So I spent a couple of years on my nights and weekends putting it together so I could pretty much share it with the world. And that's what I did. What was that event? And all of a sudden, this little film that he did on his own has now 5 million views on YouTube, I think? That's right. Uh, it just ticked over this week um, in April, uh, you know, the end of April to 5 million views, which I'm kind of proud of because I did that organically. I didn't have any advertising. I didn't um, promote it really myself. Um, and just organically, I have 5 million views on and it. And now people are dying to know, well, what is this film and what's it all about? So tell us, what is this film and what's it all about? Well, I heard about this um, event called the Nimitz Encounters back in 2017. There was a New York Times article that came out in December of 2017 that told the story of these fighter pilots that were flying off the USS Nimitz um, aircraft carrier. And they were off the coast of San Diego. And they were directed out to intercept an unknown target, an unknown aircraft target that had been showing up um, on radars for probably a week before this, this was November 2004, and, and um, about, I think November 10th um, was when this started happening. So on the 14th, they get sent out to, to find out what this unknown aircraft is that they keep spotting on radar. And, and the Navy didn't know what it was. It kind of was acting, behaving a little strangely. It was flying about 28,000 feet, going about 100 knots. And for, for an aircraft, that at that altitude is very unlikely that it would be going 100 knots. It's too slow, 100, you know, or 120 or, or, or around that speed. It's very slow. The fall out of the sky. Yeah, at that altitude, it, it just wouldn't be normal. Maybe a balloon or something, but not too many aircraft would be flying at that profile. So these guys went out there, and when they got to that location where these targets were being observed, they spotted something very strange. And one of the pilots called it what he described as a 47-foot-long tic-tac. Um, and he said that it kind of looked like that, the candy. The, it was white, it was oblong, it was kind of a, a tubular shape, and it was about the size of his jet. And this um, commander, a, you know, a decorated uh, pilot, a fighter pilot flying an F-A-18 Super Hornet, basically kind of goes down to take a look at this thing, and the object seems to uh, recognize the fact that he's approaching and it, it comes up because the object was you know quite a ways underneath and maybe um, down by the surface of the ocean up to about 5,000 feet and he's much higher around 20,000 feet so he's going down this object starts coming up and as they kind of approach each other they start turning around each other he's uh, making a maneuver trying to get behind the object and the object starts turning trying to get behind him so they're flying around in a big circle in the sky um, at some point, the object um, turns and flies by, like he said, going out of a, a bullet out of a gun, a hypersonic speed, and disappears beyond the horizon. And tell us some of the people that you uh, encountered during this journey of making this this film. Well, you know, when I when I first heard about the story, I, I was intrigued by the sheer kind of um, excitement and mystery of it. And in my mind, I, I thought, you know, hey, I want to see what that looks like from the fighter pilot's perspective. Because if you can imagine these advanced fighter jets, they were brand new, by the way, um, in 2004. 
encountering something unknown. It was just the mystery and you know trying to figure it out. I, th I thought I could probably do a recreation using computer graphics. So that's what I did. I went about um, using a computer, or 3D computer graphics animation to do a simulation of what they reported seeing. And it looks very real. I mean, when mm -hmm. I look out on the screen, I'm like, is this real or is this, you know, so the yeah. computer animation is amazing. Yeah, I mean, thank, thankfully for the technology that was available when I started doing it, it's very, what they call photorealistic. So you can um, create textures and scenes that look very realistic, even compared to cutting from actual fighter jets, which I did, to the CGI. Um, some people think it's real and they don't understand that, that it's a recreation. I had to put that on the screen eventually to let people know when it was a recreation. Um, but after I did the first uh, 15 minute or so little recreation, I had a bunch of people contact me via email. A bunch of the Navy guys that said, hey Dave, we were there on the ships in 2004. We saw what you're talking about. And so I kind of met several of the guys one by one over time. Um, this was probably about 2018. Um, and I, I eventually got to meet him in person and brought my camera along and did some interviews and um, put that together with the other recreation to create like a short film. And then what happened? It just went viral, right? The first film before I had the interviews had about 1.5 million views. Um, so then the next film that I did, which ends up, ends up today being about 35 minutes, um, that started from zero, and this week just surpassed five million views. The video you are now watching is the actual gun camera flare footage of the Tic Tac taken by a later flight. There's a couple um, the people that we know that we work with. Um, Cat Apple contributed some uh, music, and our dear UFOs. friend, um, former T Tampa Bay news anchor Bob Height, does the narration. The legendary voiceover. That's yes. right. So, um, I mean, I think that, you know, Bob kind of sums it up at the end that we don't know what these objects are. It's a mystery. The the Navy's not talking. Um, they don't seem to know, and um, we're kind of left with a mystery at the end. I don't. I don't know what the objects are. Well, you can decide for yourself if it's real, if it's an alien or whatever, by going to PeaceVision.com. The movie's there for free, and also you can sign up for your free Peacegrams to start your day off on the right note. Thanks so much for joining us.